guys, and today I wanted to clear up some confusion with the OpenGL ES 2.0 and how it will perform on Infinite Worlds. So, some people were thinking that just because I can't run Infinite Worlds right now because it's just too laggy and stuff, that OpenGL, OpenGL ES 2.0 will fix that problem in Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.10.0. But unfortunately, that's not really the case. So, when it comes to the Infinite Worlds, it's not much of a graphics based thing here, like your graphics performance on your device. It's more of your RAM and your processor, you know, the, uh, the performance on both of those. So when it comes to Infinite Worlds, you have to have, I think it was uh, 512 megabytes of RAM, I think it was, which is pretty standard anymore. You know, a lot of devices are shipping with probably one gigabyte of RAM anymore, so, and there's some shipping with like three now. So, you know, we RAM-wise, you know, it's probably not going to be an issue, but when it comes to the lag and the rendering and stuff that takes forever in Infinite Worlds, that is more on your processor side. So unfortunately, there's not really a way to fix that because OpenGL ES 2.0 is more of your graphics performance, which on your device you have, you know, your processor, like I was saying, and then you have your graphics processor. And if you have a, you know, a weak graphics processor, which I'm going to be honest, there are quite a few devices out there that ship with a fairly weak graphics processor, even though the rest of the specs, you know, the, the rest of the devices are actually pretty high quality, but it seems like a lot of companies do like to cheap out when it comes to the graphics processor, which when it comes to, you know, gaming and stuff, that definitely, you know, it shows there. But with OpenGL ES 2.0, your graphics performance, you know, is going to be increased, but if you can't run Infinite Worlds right now, don't expect to be able to do that in the next update. But your, you know, your frame rate, you know how run, how well it runs and stuff. You know, it's definitely going to be improved. So if you're running Infinite Worlds now at probably 40 frames per second, when you get this new update, you're probably going to be running into 60 frames per second. Which uh, frames per second is, you know, you've probably seen it before, like FPS, not first person shooter, but FPS is in frames per second or frame rate, basically calculating how smooth your game runs. 60 FPS or 60 frames per second is as smooth as real life. So that is just a quick update on OpenGL ES 2.0 just to clear up some confusion there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.